Let's analyze together Sofi Technologies. Let's see what happened today. Almost plus 20%. Look at the price action in the five minute chart of today. Very interesting. Let's talk about it. Remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. Welcome to Trading HD. Subscribe if you trade this type of stocks. And very interesting. Let's talk about the latest breaking news about these earnings. Yeah, look at that. It's the first, uh, you know, benefits ever of the company. Look at that. You know, as soon as they released the earnings, the stock went way high. You know, it's like we're talking about more than 18% just after the news. Yeah, very interesting. Obviously, a lot of interest around this stock right now. You can also see the price action in the five minute chart with a lot of volatility. And for instance, let's talk about it in the comments. What do you think about it, guys? Did you expect uh, the re this release of the earnings with the first ever profit for Sophie Technologies? Did you have a different idea? And how do you see the perspective right now for 2024 at least and also for the future of this company? I think that's a very interesting debate. Share with us your opinions and let's go to the daily chart because we have a very interesting price action right here. Yeah, let's talk about it, you know, because this is very, very interesting. We were talking about this option, you know, this breakout, like, okay, this is, it doesn't make any sense. You, you take into consideration the fundamentals, you know, that the, companies, it, the company was in losses uh, way before. But look at that, you know, uh, after this news, it, it, it tends, you know, to make sense more now. Yeah, exactly. That's completely true. And also, we have right here in the one in the daily chart, this kind of price action. I'm drawing it very fast. We have this multiple uh, acting kind of a support level. We could say a double bottom, maybe even a four time bottom if you take into account the difference of price. And also this kind of range uh, between this level of $8 more or less and the lower part around uh, $4.33. Very interesting that kind of accumulation from there we had that breakout then this descending channel that also worked almost perfectly you can see right here the projection of the price after the breakout it went a little bit higher from there then we had the correction and now with the earnings the price skyrocketed again to the upside with this gap if you don't use the extended trading hours market so how do you see the price action right now guys do you agree with this past analysis do you have a different one and how do you see the perspective for this year this is so perfect, Enrique. Look at that, you know, like the perfect technical analysis book. All the patterns, like as soon as you see the breakout, it tends to go to the exact percentage. And uh, look at the breakout, you know, the, the retest. This is like, it's, it's taken from a book. Yeah, exactly. It's a very interesting uh, idea, you know, to talk about past price action and see if it reflects, you know, those ideas from tra trading technical analysis and, and that side of trading markets because I think that sometimes it doesn't work but when it does it's very interesting to analyze it and if you manage to risk properly in my opinion uh, these type of scenarios could be very very beneficial for you and look at this also during this last uh, movement that we talked about this kind of accumulation period we have these breakouts right here and you know as soon as we have those breakouts look at the at that wow. buying opportunities you know it doesn't mean like it always works like that but when you see it, it's it's something good to analyze. Yeah, Sophie is volatile, but uh, you know the good thing about this one is that if you log technical analysis and you love it, and uh, you know you have all the buttons right there, and as you as you see a breakout in one of them, it tends to you know to 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 go there, you know to to the desired percentage the, according to technical analysis. It doesn't happen very often in all the stocks, you know. It's something that is in some specifically you know specific specifically the in in stocks like this you know with a lot of volatility so very very interesting yeah. let's take a look uh, uh, let's take a look at the forecast enrique because i we think i think let's we, let's see we have 18 analysts right now and uh, look at that very interesting information yeah this is the neutral stock as usual you can <laughs> see the forecast uh, i think in the previous video we have a very similar uh, forecast for this one it's in the middle, you know, the average 9.14, the price and, you know, 0 0.59. So almost the same price as right now. Then we have the maximum one with plus 65%, $15 and the lowest one, the minimum minus 67% more or less at $3. Very interesting. Also, the analyst rating is neutral. These are different analysts, as you know. So what do you think, guys? Do you agree with the maximum one, the minimum one, or the average? Let us know that in the comments also. Yeah, the important thing about, about a company like this, you know, it's like the, it's the first, first earnings ever. This is very important for the company, for the employees, you know, the, their motivation. It's like the, they achieved it. Um, and in that sense, uh, it's like maybe they could like 
uh, in the next quarter, make it make it happen again. It's something important, you know. It's uh, it's still very soon to to know, but at least you know they they have the, this momentum, and the momentum is important in the, in the in the market. Yeah, exactly. Very interesting to take that into account also. And for now, you know, the, as we mentioned, the price action in the past worked uh, in a very good way. At least if you had this analysis, you know, you could have a completely different one. And that's the thing also in, te- in technical analysis that it's it's a bit of an art also. So right now, personally, I don't know what will happen. Well, you never know. But in this case, the technical analysis uh, doesn't seem to help because when you have this kind of news and this kind of volatility, sometimes the hype is is there. And you know, it's like you see some scenarios that you don't normally expect in, in other circumstances. So personally, I would manage risk with even more detail. But as usual, I think that's key. Uh, managing risk is something crucial in trading. And if you want to ask to make like more videos about it, let us know also in the comments because we are happy to share with you all the ideas about trading psychology and all that side. Some final thoughts, you know, like maybe there are two types of scenarios, you know, normally uh, sometimes it happens that after a gap like this, it tends to, you know, to go back to, the, to what it was before and then it could go up. This is maybe one scenario. And the second one, you know, it could be trading sideways because right now is that there, may, there may be a lot of indecision right now because, okay, okay, like this is more than 18% in yesterday. Let's see what happens. Like investors, maybe they have doubts right now at this particular moment and they have you have to wait a little bit to see what happens. Yeah, so let's see if the price goes lower from here. As I mentioned, covering that gap. Also, if we see the price uh, stagnating around this level or maybe accumulating a little bit. Or if it continues going higher, let us know in the comments what do you think, guys, and the reasons behind it. I think that's also important. Thank you very much for watching our video. Have a nice week. Take care. Welcome to Trading HD again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.